take for your punishment, slave? I sometimes scream out, no. When really, I mean, yes. Yes, yes! And this is why we have the safe word. Until we hear the safe word, we will not stop. She's not a Christian! No! Safe Word with Jason Rouse. All right, we're back. Uh, technically, we're this is another day. We kind of fucked up. Well, I fucked up. <laughs> yeah, you fucked up. I didn't put uh, the record button on the first half. So. I asked you two times, Stone S. Fucked. Have you pushed the record button? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it looked yeah. like it. I'm still working this equipment out, but uh, we're back. You've had some adventures today. Yeah, you dropped, you dropped all your food in the. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, uh, sometimes I'm like wondering, how the fuck do I just? Ah, it happened just to me every the time, but just has to be <laughs> bad luck. <laughs> I don't know. It's not the booze. It's not the drugs. It's just fucking bad luck. You think you're cursed? Yeah, fucking cursed or blessed. <laughs> because I have a laugh at it all the time. I'm always happy because of my own <laughs> fall. Uh, yeah. Can you? You are good at English. Can't you like describe how it? Okay. Yeah. So we go into the uh, Rock Paper Cafe on Sunset next to Guitar Center. Yeah. And um, there is a egg McMuffin deal there. Yeah. Uh, and coffees. So we had some coffees. I wasn't hungry, but. Um, Fumbles McGee over here got, <laughs> got the fucking the uh, the two uh, egg sandwiches and a large hot coffee with no fucking lid on it. <laughs> I took the lid off because it was too hot. So I yeah, had to so you up. had an open hot surface that was just <laughs> splashing everywhere. He yeah. burns his hand and then throws his hands up and throws the sandwiches in the air onto the ground. Starts laughing. <laughs> I'm, I fall out of my chair. I'm laughing so hard. There's a girl that's sitting and seeing the whole thing. She's laughing, and Tara can. Well, he picks them up and puts them back in his basket and starts eating them. Yeah, and you had, like, uh, run out and, like, I don't know this person. So you sat outside when I was picking up my oh, stuff. I, and I'm not, my my, I can only laugh burning. so hard. And then didn't you remember that I was, like, laughing so hard and I was like, oh, what the fuck? So I, Food's flying out of your yeah, mouth. Yeah, and then I just went straight into the fucking glass door also. I forgot. Oh, did you? Yeah, oh, I didn't yeah. see the door. <laughs> oh, man, how do you make it through the day? Yeah. But we did, uh, We d eventually we made it to Runyon Canyon today. Yeah, we had like this fucking uh, uh, training. Uh, a little hike. Yeah, it was good. It's quite nice. What did you think of the skyline, the the California smog? It was not, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't really get it, what it was. I thought it was like smoke. <laughs> Are they all the pot that is like legal now? So because now everybody smokes, smokes pods. And it fucking... Do you <laughs> think that there's a lot of marijuana in California? <laughs> yeah, a like, little bit too much. <laughs> I don't even... I don't know smoke in Sweden. You can yell out your window and get marijuana. Huh? By open your window and go, who's got weed? Someone will go, I got weed. Here or in Sweden? In, no, no, no. In here. Yeah, what the fuck? You're not allowed to drink one beer. But you can smoke like you know. a bale hay. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, no, nobody gets fucked up on this one. I have never been this. What do you think of the selections up? of alcohol? Because when you go into to buy, like in Sweden, you got to go to the system blog it. Yeah. And do you want to explain to people in uh, the rest of the world what system blog it is? System blog it is like a. They own. They have like monopoly on uh, liquor and booze in Sweden, so they can like. Uh, Scratch my balls. Uh, so, so they can, like, charge you how much they want because... It's government run. Yeah, exactly. And they make you line up to buy Yeah, line drinks. up. And like, it's a third world. Yeah, it's like... But it's strange that the government has some lockdown in a country that's really known for its drinking. You know what I mean? It, it's being policed... But it seems like it's uh, it, it's unnecessary. You're going to get to it anyway. Yeah, yeah. You do your own moonshine. And Why have people line up? Or just go over to Denmark and buy it for half price yeah. and sell it. Cases of vodka. Then it can be a like, su success successful drunk and booze dealer. <laughs> yeah. What um, What is your favorite drink? Uh, 
<laughs> I, I, I should drink beer because I don't like it so much and I don't get so fucked up. What makes you throw up the, all the time? I don't throw up. I don't think I throw up. I no, remember on the, remember the bitch boat? Yeah, but it was the fucking scene. Everybody pukes <laughs> on the fucking... You uh, chugged the bottle of Jack Daniels. Yeah, yeah, and then fell down after you guys destroyed the room, <laughs> and then you passed out nee, and grabbed the case nee. of Heineken and you pushed it under your head and went to sleep. This is history. I was uh, really a different time. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah okay. That was a crazy. Jack d- Daniels are drinking and a puke. And why? Why do Scandinavian people need to go on boats to get drunk and see bands? Uh, that's a fucking good question, man. Because I don't know. Where You're like. Is it like because you like to travel? Yeah, yeah, maybe that's like two and in one. Uh, travel to another shit ass country like so me or Denmark and be on a concert at once uh, at the same time, and then it's like uh, I don't know. It's a good thing to do. Rock and roll, drunk yeah, people. The boats. Didn't you get thrown in jail in one of the boats? Three times in, in, in one month. Three no, times in one month. <laughs> no, the first uh, week. Yeah, the first month I lived in Stockholm, I got like hybris. I don't know how you said it in st- English. Hybris. Hybris, like, ah, oh, this is a big country. Wow, big city. And I, I went on boats without a ticket and I got myself arrested on the boat and then I threw me out in uh, Finland and then I had to like. The, the Finnish police beat you in <laughs> Swedes? Yeah. Did they beat you? <laughs> yeah. Did they, they beat you? <laughs> the fuckers at the fucking boat because... What did they do? Is punch in the stomach? Punch me. They fucking uh, handcuffed me to a fucking... <laughs> I didn't even get a fucking cell. I was like uh, handcuffed to a fucking uh, stairway in the like basement of the no. boat. And they hit me with like sticks. And no. Stuff. <laughs> they yeah. beat you with sticks. That, uh, that's honest fucking truth. I have never been so fucking like, what the fuck? I was only drunk. You don't have to fucking... Beat me. Yeah, but everybody says that on the sea, there's no rules. Yeah. So that, you know the... They fucking, could throw you out the back yeah, of the boat. Yeah, you know bouncers and uh, police and all the fucking assholes. They got rules. Uh, they are still fucking <laughs> bastards. But when they are bastards it's and like they pirates. and they don't have any rules to follow, they're fuck. Oh yeah, what bad pirate? I love pirates in a good as a, <laughs> like Johnny Depp pirate. Johnny Depp pirates. <laughs> Did you say Johnny Depp? <laughs> <laughs> how, the, how the fuck? Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. <laughs> Johnny Depp He's throat. A pirate, eh? Hey, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but the pirates. It's good that you. we didn't put the r- recording button last time because that was a mess. It, this is going better. This is going much better. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, can you explain how it would have sounded if <laughs> it they was fucked yesterday? Yeah, I gave you a lorazepam and smoked a bowl, and um, <laughs> and you just laid on the floor and drooled, laughed, 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 screamed. Mm. Cried, got panic attacked. Uh, I, it was like, uh, it was a fucking nightmare, and I'm glad. It yeah, you, were fr- you were freaking out a little bit. Yeah, it was. <laughs> at the first ten minutes, but this is the best day of my life. <laughs> and like, after fifteen minutes, I, was like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do this. And it was like the worst. You like, you're like freaked out. Fresh air. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, can I smoke? Drink some water. I, I fucking uh, yeah. Marijuana is very uh, thing that can fuck you right up. People underestimate it sometimes, especially when you eat it and things like that. Yeah, it could take you to the moon. And I've tried. I haven't tried that. You told me that yeah. we should do that. We'll get like, the, uh, little candies and cookies and <laughs> stuff, and we're gonna go on the Simpsons ride. You're the best friend ever. You know how it can <laughs> turn you into an. Uh, yeah, you, and you, when you're sitting here in your podcast and you're like, yeah, you should. And then you're, you're already tricked me into take this fairy and put me in. Give me cake and cookies. <laughs> and make you lose And I mind. love it. <laughs> <laughs> you're the best, man. <laughs> I love you. Yeah, so, yeah. so <laughs> you messed up, man. Yeah, I got problems. In a great way. I'm one of the, uh, the good messed up. 
Most there's a lot of. Uh, what do you think of? Uh, well, what have you seen? You went down Hollywood Boulevard. I was trying to give you directions to go to Jumbo's Clown Room, yeah. but there was too many <laughs> bars on the way, so you never made it. Yeah. Um, I, oh, I started went? with going the wrong way. I no, I used to go up and go. R- yeah, you told me right. I took a left and I went to the Sunset Strip. Ah. And I had to walk all the f- way back. Yeah, to yeah. So where I was supposed to take a right, I only got. To I just say go up to Hollywood Boulevard and go right. Yeah. But you decided you're gonna go your own way. <laughs> yeah. The three hour tour. <laughs> <laughs> so was was it everything you th- thought it was going to be? Because you see the stars and then homeless people, fucking crazy. Yeah, it was not. I, kicking, you kicked somebody yeah, in the yeah, balls? Yeah, yeah, ten dollar kicked the nut guy. Yeah, <laughs> kicked the nut guy. He was fucking. As a, you think he's a college graduate? Yeah, he could be he's for a, the summer. Maybe he just <laughs> wants kids and he doesn't have a, uh, enough money for a uh, vasectomy. No, yeah, yeah. You got tattooed. That's, yeah. be, that's infected. That's for sure. You're gonna lose <laughs> yeah. that hand by if, the end. If of the you trip. make a tattoo on your when you're shit faced at Hollywood Boulevard, well, I want to do this, and then he asks me, "Oh, what are you going to do after this? Are you going straight home, or are you going out?" I'm going out. Where? Yeah, you should. You were shit faced when you had a tattoo. Yeah, and he told me. I remember he told me. Uh, I should cover it up because you're going to meet other people and you can like yeah go, dirty yeah. hands there's uh, uh, fuck hands. off fuck off and then I was at this strip club for like five hours so <laughs> of course <laughs> I come in contact with people like oh ah, filthy just, animals yeah what were the strippers like <laughs> fat and ugly be, <laughs> it th- must this be is the honest Sweden. truth I'm like I've been in strip joints a few times, and all the time, well, I shouldn't be here because I feel like not sorry, but I, I always get tricked. That, yeah, this guy, she's she's really likes me, and like yeah, and I'm starting to talk with them, and they like getting freaked out. But what the fuck is wrong with this, like Jesus guy? Because I'm so nice, I don't have that in me to be like. Show me your asshole. No, I'm like, oh, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, you get an okay? interesting conversation. <laughs> yeah, and everybody. I think that I'm this total fucking asshole, but I'm like so. I'm too nice. You pay for a stripper, you should like ah slap her and stuff. Yeah, but no I like. Oh, what are you doing? Uh, why oh, do you, or why do you cut yourself? Is the one I like to ask you. <laughs> do you burn yourself every time you think about your uncle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but she she was great because she had this. Uh, I want your skull tattoo on her. On her wrist. Yeah. Oh, fucking misfits! Right? And then we just... Oh, like, she had a misfit skull on her wrist? No, it, it was the lyrics from uh, ah, Skulls. Oh, uh, 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 okay, okay. So, what the fuck? So, uh, instead of being at a strip club and like... You're talking about music. Yeah, we, so yeah, I sat down and like... Had a, and so it yeah. Was, and I, then I, I, I met a friend. And it was a friend. Okay, she got like $50 off of me, but... What? Yeah, it was worth the conversation. Yeah. Yeah, I've done that. I've given money to a stripper and said, you know what, fuck it. I really don't want to. I've seen enough. Yeah. I've seen everything a vagina can do. Yeah. And uh, w- what's your story? What's going on here? Uh, and you get talking and, uh, you know, they they have a lot of similar stories. Interesting enough. Yeah. My sister was a stripper. Oh, yeah. For a long time. Was she any good? <laughs> I never got a hard on from the show. Or a comedian, is it? Uh, strippers, actually, people, <laughs> people in the uh, in the sex industry and c- comedy tend to gravitate towards each other. Yeah, a lot of you'll see a lot of porn stars and comedians kind of incestually living together. Yeah, but since they you know they passed the law here now that in porn they have to use a condom in California. Yeah, so that all they all move to Vegas because they don't have those same laws. <laughs> yeah, no one wants to use a condom. No, it's like eating with. Uh Shit in your teeth. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you've been drinking. It's good that you have, you've got a bottle you, of Fireball. You've been I drinking since it's, 8 It's great that you're always uh, filling in. My, it's like I'm a fucking stutter, so you're like, ah. I know what you're that, trying to say. But it's in a good way because you're only like doing it for my best. Yeah, I got to fill in the blanks. <laughs> but I, 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 I've, uh, I've worked with disabled well, no. people before, so <laughs> I can fill it out. Yeah. Uh, you know. It's been nice out though. This I can't. There's no reason to live in the snow. 
It's, can you uh, imagine being here for the winter and avoiding the whole Swedish winter? Yeah. And come back like June, you know, just when summer's kicking in. Yeah. Because uh, you can't Sweden in the summer. You can't beat it. No. That's uh, that God's is, honest. I don't fucking believe in God, so why should I say that? That's Satan's fucking truth. <laughs> that, yeah. yeah. It, it, there is a Summer in Sweden. Yeah, Stockholm, any, Sweden. Anywhere, any, Summer. Anywhere. Yeah. Gothenburg, fun. you know, even in the north, Lulia. Because then everyone has been depressed for like pff, yeah, more than a half a year. And then like, <laughs> <laughs> everybody is on like, stand in the fucking sun like ecstasy this. because, yeah, sun, warmth, oh, now we can do stuff. Uh, we can start drinking, yeah. drink in the park. Because I see people, just clutters of them like yeah. in the park getting hammered. Uh, drinking in, with whole homeless people, drinking with yeah. people. Uh, yeah. so this sounds bad, but like in a good way. In the summers, I have like maybe two, three, four hundred like good friends. And when it's <laughs> winter, nobody has. I have four like hundred. one friend yeah, yeah. left, my the, girlfriend, the, because she yeah. keeps on you on suicide watch. Yeah, keeps you. It, everyone that tries is, to stay alive to get through the summer. It's so fucking. There's a difference between the winter and the spring. Oh, it sucks. But Sweden, the summer in Sweden is fucking. Great yeah, a lot of Swedish people go to Thailand. Yeah, a lot on the winter. Yeah, a lot. Like and you cannot walk like anywhere in that part of Asia and run into yeah. a Swedish they person. They find a lot of like good whorehouses. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, taking them with them home, marrying the f- them. The fat bastard who looks like shit. The, uh, got money. Some guy they from go Finland? to Thailand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they look like. Finland. Oh, <laughs> can you imagine? Just your your first day as a hooker, right? <sighs> and there's oh, a- can I make a uh, like commercial break? Y- yeah, you can do commercial. I just want to. Yeah, uh, the thing I told your mom, <laughs> like, oh, Christmas, yeah, coffee. like coffee, yeah. If you're Missing the Christmas spirit in the summer, you can always take Fireball and like put it in your coffee, and then you have like Christmas Eve every morning <laughs> in the summer. Yeah, you're if you don't finish that one. If you don't like the summer and you want the like holiday Hot, spirit, you want the fire in your guts. Why don't yeah. you just put a jalapeno pepper on your <laughs> asshole or something? <laughs> yeah, a banana pepper, <laughs> rub it in your eyes. Oh, it's like summertime. <laughs> no, you miss It's the taste of a candy sin- cane. Candy cane. Yeah, up Cinnamon. You put a candy ah. cane. Ah, prut. Ah, okay. Prut. I just want to say that Jason is fucking awesome to speak Swedish. He's. I still remember a little bit. I'm going to learn some more, but I'm just so preoccupied with doing things here, but I intend to pick up a little more uh, Swedish. But you know, there are like dialects and stuff in the country. They have like. Uh, Northern, I don't know how you... Yeah, 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 north, you know, east yeah. coast, west coast kind yeah, of dialect. Fine. Like anywhere in the country. There's places in, in the east coast of Canada, you wouldn't understand them. I just want to say English. that Jason is so famous in Sweden that he has his own dialect. Like, oh, you talk like Jason Rouse. <laughs> <laughs> no, <no. laughs> yeah, all the guys that are like, uh, yeah. The what? You know the retard home. Oh, in the mental hospital? <laughs> yeah, yeah they, oh, they talk like Ace or <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, it's yeah. an epidemic yeah. of Down syndrome <laughs> dialect. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it is not. A, I, I get caught saying A in a boat. But you know what? You, Swedes speaking English is, you never know what you're going to get. Somebody can speak it perfectly or you get terror. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, it's, like, like it's somebody from Denmark who's been in a motorcycle accident. That's what terror sounds like. Yeah. That's, oh. Fuck. Have you, have you, <laughs> when you go back to your hometown, do they say you smell, you, you sound like uh, more Stockholm now? No. No, you got it in deep. No, uh, yeah. Fuck. And I'm fucking proud of it. I don't, as a, I have so many fucking Stockholm posters that uh, ah, I went to school with when I was younger. Okay, and, and they, they changed. go for a summer holiday in Stockholm, and then they go back, and they like talking like fucking assholes and posters about what the fuck you've been there for like one week, yeah, and yeah. you talk more stupid than fucking 
They want to be liked by the masses. Sweeter. People want to be liked by the masses. Isn't yeah, that right? Exactly. Isn't yeah. that why you got your neck tattooed? So you're liked <laughs> by the masses? Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. I'm a sellout. I, I want to go be <laughs> friends with everyone. So I tattooed tarot like it's carved with a knife in my throat. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody who loves me. Yeah. I and I will post some <laughs> pictures of some of this. He's got some good work and a, a quite a collective Yeah. Tattoo style he's a lot a lot of black and grey. You don't have a lot of color except red really. No, uh, but I think that's And you do I see a Ninja Turtles. Yeah, Ninja Turtles. But <laughs> this is yeah, a, yeah, the Ninja Turtles. I don't th- know what the fucking marijuana doing to your brain, but it's like I'm can like see myself becoming something I maybe were supposed to be, but I wasn't for like ten years ago. So all my tattoos, I always wanted to do tattoos because oh, that's cool and uh, I like that style. But in my hometown and uh, you played ice hockey and stuff, you did it. You started doing a little so. You, Black and gray doesn't look that bad, blah, sure. blah, blah. And then it just get like this uh, more and more. And now I'm having like colors. And Who are they faces? Because you have some portraits too. Who is, what's, what's the guy with the uh, this guy here? Uh, this is like, yeah, uh, very funny that you know. Uh, 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 this is like the Swedish uh, version of you. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, you know, uh, uh, those who are those who are my true as a real friends, they have like this sense of humor, and it's so fucking easy because we don't ha- we only have to like mention one like favorite TV show that we had when we was young. It was, yeah, it was that fucking fucked up comedian and blah. And then you're like, yeah, this is my team. And we're like fucking brothers because... You're fans of that. Yeah, that this guy is, was like before... He did like jackass uh, Swedish stuff for like third, 20 or 30 years ago. Yeah, yeah. But he was only like... Legend. Lo- yeah, lo- but he was like local. And he did television? He was on TV? Yeah. <laughs> yeah what was his show called? Uh, Svolo keeps on... Uh, Moving, you know, I keep on uh, being a fucking pig. Like, oh, that's the yeah. translation is keep being a pig. Yeah, this guy sounds amazing. Yeah, he had he had a camera on his shoulder. He had a microphone. And he just went out on town and like insulted people all over Stockholm. Uh, and, like, and all my friends, true friends about. He, he, he was the him. fucking genius. Uh, he took his life. When <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. always the way. Yeah. He killed himself? Yeah, he killed himself. Uh, he hanged fuck. himself in a basement. He hung himself in the basement? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, but I was buying into this guy as a person. I'm like, yeah, maybe things are going to turn around for <laughs> no, me too. No, no, no. I'm going to hang no. myself. But it was a shock for all. Like, how, how old was he when he hung himself? Uh, maybe 35 or something. Oh. Fat bastard, but he was... I mean, he's, uh, I compare him to the American Peter Griffin, but okay. real. I yeah, mean, yeah, he's yeah. so fucking funny. And he was famous. Was he a drunk or a drug addict? Yeah, both. Okay. So he's a mess. Yeah. And hilarious. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, that, and you're fucking like. I'm a mess hilarious? Yeah, I mean, it's like you mess hilarious. That was in a good <laughs> way. Mess hilarious. I think we invented it, a word. It, it's like a... Peter Griffin, this guy at my, that my, or one of my Miscellaneous. Robots, and Jason Rouse. Like, yeah, we do what the fuck we want, and who don't like it, go fuck themselves. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> and then you have your lucky die, uh, diehard fans. Sure. Yeah. And it's those, good. What's the, and what's the other guy under him? This? Yeah. Yeah, that's too, that's like Beavs and Butthead, but Swedish, uh, they made like three or four years of come here. They are playing like what are they called? T- t- Ronnie Ragge. Ronnie Ragge. Ronnie Ragge, like Beavs and Batted, but uh, they were like was live action. <laughs> yeah, he'll be. Yeah, it was fucking funny. <laughs> they drove around in this old fucking uh, white trash uh, car. And <laughs> yeah, fucking retard. So, but yeah, Swedish humor is very different. <laughs> yeah. 
It's it's, very different. It's so flat. Yeah. You know, there's exceptions to all of it, but no one's really interested in causing unrest in the audience. They really kind of pander to it. Mm-hmm. What they want, what they want to be liked. Yeah, but this they don't want to be because ego is very frowned upon in in the um, in Sweden. A lot of yeah. comedians don't are not like rock stars. You know what I mean? No, no. So you get a lot of kind of um, a lot of passive aggressive kind of. But I like the, they're really like humble rock stars. These guys and they are like they they are not the sellouts. They do their st- stuff and they got their like hardcore fan base not the smartest one but they got yeah yeah really they're dedicated like a, yeah dedicated i like that I like, r- i'd rather have a dedicated fan you know, base like slayer slayer fans dedicated yeah and you slayer they like yeah, fucking we do our shit yeah. and we don't fucking care about what i'm dying to see some bands there's a show. What do you say tonight? A Blue Velvet, or uh, a Velvet Underground cover band. What are they pizza, called? Pizza, pizza, pizza Velvet. <laughs> yeah, Pizza Velvet Underground. It's uh, with the uh, Home Alone guy, the smart kid. kid. Yeah, MacIver kid. Really? The crackhead. Or is it? You know, it's, it's Hollywood. It's, you're, it's a good chance you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but. Uh, uh, and also, uh, we're gonna go see Tom Green yeah, today. T- Tom Green, sausages, sausages. And uh, <laughs> Sebastian Box will yeah. be there. Yeah, fucking From eighteen Canada. alive. Yeah, it was cool. Huh? Monkey business. <laughs> <laughs> monkey business. Didn't they have a live monkey in that video? If a monkey came around my face, I'd punch it right <laughs> in the stomach. Yeah, yeah. Because they always picking their assholes <laughs> and rubbing their lips with them. <laughs> like me. Yeah, yeah, you're How like a can monkey. You tell them about my, uh, um, uh, 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 what the fuck do you call it? Uh, Hemorrhoids? <laughs> no, like uh, if I want to give you a beauty uh, tip. A beauty, beauty tip. Like, oh, you should have this on your eye lips so you're... <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, no. Hold on, hold on. But beauty tips. Yeah. <laughs> Fun, queer, and this if you want to look like a, a rock star, yeah, this is a good uh, advice. Or, uh, like, uh, they should watch your video. Yeah, What's it, how do people find the video? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking rambling lunatic. I don't even. <laughs> What's the name of the video? Tara Cruz, uh, uh, chapter one takes the matters in their own hands. So, yes, search Tara Cruz. Check out the uh, check out the video. Oh, I... <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell him what it was? I think he just... Pure popped, love. He popped a zit on his neck. <laughs> no, I want to give them the... Oh, uh, yeah, he's using Tiger Bomb <laughs> for his first wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Lay still. You have, like, this Kodak moment. You have a fucking scent. Oh, Red Mart? No, it's... it's the penny. Sp- yeah, it's still there. All right. But... So you can pose it. You haven't n- noticed this for like 20 minutes now. Has it been like that? Yeah. <laughs> but I haven't seen it either. This is like live action. <laughs> <laughs> I get a penny. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Oh, it's stuck good. <laughs> That's the honest truth. You had it, and you're like, "What? What? Is it red?" I got a metal plate. I got a metal plate <laughs> in my head. It's come through. Uh, well, it's worse <laughs> things that happened to me. I don't know, but uh, yeah. So Tom Green, Sebastian Bach today, and then don't eat that. That'll make you sick. He's eaten my Tiger Bomb like it's chipped it. Why are you rubbing it on your lips? It's for sore muscles. It's for. All right. If you want to take a selfie and a duck face, <laughs> you duck put you blow out your lips yeah, with Tiger yeah, Bomb. Yeah, yeah. that's. Oh, uh, looks like uh, you're making out with a curling iron. Om det är någon svensk där ute som lyssnar, jag bara försökt ge dig så skönhets tips om att hela Tiger Bomb på läpparna får man jättestora och fina läppar. Yeah. All right. On that note, thanks for being on the show, Terror. <laughs> <laughs> Let the adventures ah, begin. I love it. Thanks. I'll be back. So we're back. You can, you can, you can, you can talk to that one. But <laughs> don't touch <laughs> it. <laughs> Just leave that one right there for daddy. Mm.
So uh, I, I've given you one of my uh, my tour shirts that are on sale at www.jasonrouse.com. I've got some merchandise. The CD was supposed to come out on Valentine's Day. I've been preoccupied with finding a residency here in Los Angeles. So we'll, we will be going back to the edits, and then um, we're going to pick a, a label. I don't, I'm not sure what label it's going to come under yet, but um, <laughs> in the meantime, Tara's tailoring one of my shirts. What do you call this process? I'm, I'm going to do like my – when I started making stuff, I uh, just took a scissor and I like bait and uh, bit and like twig them together. So I have to go old school on this one because I don't have the right tool. But this is how it kind of started. Yeah. You just t-shirt and scissors and then it elaborated to some of these jackets and what have. What are some of the requests for band jackets that you get? Uh, also our website aren't like 100% finished yet. So like who's who's been wearing your stuff on stage? Uh, Simon Cruz. Uh, it's not so many, it's just like Simon and I made like to the bass player Peter London he, uh, he made his last tour jacket and stuff and uh -huh. wore it, wore it uh, all the time. It was actually a doctor's rock that he stole from a <laughs> hospital and yeah. I made made it of that one. You made it out of a stolen jacket from a hospital? <laughs> yeah. And yeah, so he, he stole it. Uh, like a doctor's uniform. Yeah. And he gave it to me, and I, yeah. You made it into, a, like, a long jacket? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Is there pictures where people can see this yeah, stuff? Yeah, if you, you can, like, uh, Google Peter London crash diet, and then you find, uh, they find some pictures on him where he has, like, this white big robe with all of his favorite. It's like my tattoos. It's just a bunch of different... Oh, Who are you his favorite, favorite like choices for people that are in front of bands over the years that that you'd like to put clothes on? Like before, it was a lot of Motley Crue and stuff. Now we'd like to do like maybe Slayer and stuff. No, much. Better. I don't know if you get Slayer to wear custom. No, I don't think so. Either. No, <laughs> no, not anymore. If they want to, just. But what about uh, uh, what about Steel name. Panther? Yeah. I was more you like should talk. You should meet those guys. Yeah, I fucking love them. Why haven't you uh, reached out to them? That seems like an easy sell for yeah, them. But if you did custom, I'm good at like this thing, but like computers and stuff, it's not my cup of tea because I have like dyslexia. So I only like write <laughs> like I'm talking. And it's you need a business partner. Yeah, somebody that knows the numbers. Simon comes in. Simon's good. How yeah, did? But he's uh, fucking, he has made his own, like, wardrobe, like, for how many years, I don't know, but... He's, he's like, a good business person, too. Yeah. Because it's expensive to, to run a band, just production, you know, costs, it, it's, it adds up very quickly, it's a, it's a very expensive hobby. Yeah. You know, rental of a space, you know, and then not making any money on tour, blah, blah, blah. So, you were right to, to team up with somebody, because that... Business is definitely a. Simon work. was a good-looking rock star, and he like, ah, he made like the pants I'm having, like an old flare, cowboy and boots, hats and stuff. Uh huh. Like, uh, vests and t-shirts, oh, making like different designs on our our, our merchandise and stuff. Very cool. What's next, though? Uh, you know, to get the <laughs> website going and then uh, we have big get plans, people to wear. We're not going to reveal them yet. Like yeah, uh, that's cool. Keep some people surprised coming yeah. back to the site, you know, looking at stuff. And now you've been in Los Angeles. Three days. Three days now. <laughs> you get off the boat, you know, welcome to the jungle style, get out of a car and realize you've taken an address for a nightclub that you were supposed <laughs> to meet me at the next day. Yeah. So now you're arguing with the doorman as they're trying to close up this bar that you think that you're living there. <laughs> yeah. It sounds so fucking... Then you end up at the Banana Bungalow. How is how is it? You said it's nice at the Banana yeah, Bungalow. I've stayed there. It's lovely. 
Uh, What's some of the cool things about the banana bungalow? Maybe we can get a discount off. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's like everybody's so like open and it's like you feel get the uh, traveling people. Yeah, and uh, you can like leave your phone there. You can like do. You don't get a feeling that oh somebody's going to steal something here because everybody knows that they would suck so much if that it yeah. happened to them. So everyone's there because they're poor anyway, yeah. you know, and they're just there temporarily and they don't need any unnecessary scumbag bullshit. Yeah. So I fucking recommend it. Yeah, it's cool. But and then you said they give you free beer and hamburgers. Yeah. <laughs> it was nice, fucking great. <laughs> I don't know what is that. It's like macaronis and cream. Is it so sweet? Macaronis and cheese? Yeah, I don't know. It's it was like sweet? Yeah, it's sweet. Everything here is full of sugar, man. <laughs> yeah, that's why. That's what you, everything. You eat a hamburger here and it's like eating a candy bar. Yeah, that's, that's why people are so fat. You think they're pretty fat? <laughs> Try fucking these fat pigs. <laughs> oh, could you? No. You, you've always had pretty girlfriends? Yeah. Do you never take a big hog for a run? <laughs> <laughs> you know, roll a basket of apples on the floor. Make her get on top so you remember it. 400. What do you measure in kilos? Uh, how many How many uh, pounds are in a kilo? Uh, I should know that because I'm not going to check. I don't know. How many Fat pounds. bitch. Is, isn't it like <laughs> double? <coughs> like Could eight, be. 80... Kilos is like... Anyway, would you let a girl fuck you that was this round? No. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. No. With a harpoon gun. A <laughs> 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 whale gun. Yo, yo. Uh, so what you done? You All right, I'm going to have to go check it out. He made a shirt out of one of my tour shirts. We'll see what he came up with a pair of scissors. Get rid of this head cold. And uh, what is going on? Well, yes, there is a show tonight, which is unfortunately you're going to hear this probably a week later. But um, I, um, Russell Peters and um, Jay Davis and uh, Eric Griffin, a bunch of us are performing there at ten o'clock tonight, and um, it should be very interesting. What do you expect from the audience tonight? Because you've seen one show. I wasn't performing on that one, but. No, and I fell asleep. <laughs> you, fell, you fell fast out of the bar. Yeah, <laughs> yesterday. Was you jet lagged or just drunk? Not drunk, and like, I just wanted you to get on stage, and you never come. So maybe yeah, I, it didn't happen. And but tonight, Uncle Jason gave me a pot again. So it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you never learn if you want to be with the <laughs> passed out rag doll. <laughs> yeah, it's like weekend don't. in Bernie's. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, everything's your fault. <laughs> oh well, I'm used to it. Well, it's you've got uh, a month here. Yeah. You've got some friends coming to visit. Yeah. Your what are some of the places that you want to go visit, uh, and why? Yeah, you you, mean, you, you talk, um, told me about the Simpson stuff. Yeah, um, Studio City. Yeah, that, Universal there, Studios. Yeah, and I want to go to yeah, the Walk of Fame and just. Step over the hobos. <laughs> yeah. No, but and uh, I want to go to the I mean, Rainbow and uh, Whistling Dover and stuff. That's cool. Those are some good spots. I, I really like the Rainbow. I don't go there as much as I'd like, but uh, it is a great place to go and waste some time. Yeah. There's apparently a bar in Koreatown that has old video games and a bar inside of it. Oh. Like vintage. It's like a nightclub or, or cocktail lounge or something. I don't know. Maybe check it out. What do you uh, What do you got going on there? Did it work? <laughs> no, he's no. he's tearing and ripping, cutting, snipping. He's MacGyver in this thing. Yeah, that's uh, our like uh, uh, slogan. What would MacGyver Philosophy. do? Philosophy. Yeah, <laughs> me and Simon. Yeah, what well, would well, MacGyver like do? MacGyver freaks. Like, ah! <laughs> we see. We see. We can do. You it. love MacGyver. Yeah, MacGyver. <laughs> <laughs> Why MacGyver? What the fuck? When I was small, I always like was so impressed that you could do anything with anything. It was like you couldn't make a bomb out of horse shit and like a needle. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, fucking great. <laughs> yeah, there is something about that, especially if you're an artist. You learn how to make something out of nothing. Yeah, 
And I think he's you like appreciate that skill. Yeah. Somebody that can fucking turn into gold. Yeah. He's not. No. Yeah, a good philosophy for life, you know. When you're in a bad situation, you need to figure out how to get out of it best of your ability. I don't know. And that's a good saying. What would MacGyver do? That'd be a good logo. <laughs> no, but just that way of living. I was going to get a, uh, a slogan tattooed on me. <laughs> it was it better infamous than unknown? Yeah. The Swedish one. How's it, how do you say that? Better, uh, better infamous than yeah, unknown. It's better to be mm, famous for something. Not y- yeah. <laughs> how do you say it in Swedish? Hellre ökände än okänd. It looks neat. But yeah, I was going to get a tattoo. Just couldn't find the spot, the the piece that I was going to get done. It didn't come out. I'm overdue for a tattoo. I'm, I'm in June. I'll be performing. It looks like the Park Theater in Winnipeg, and Kurt Wickham is going to do uh, a tattoo on my foot. I've been trying to get tattooed by him by years, but he's in another part of the world when I'm in another part of the world. But eventually, you, especially as a tra- artist that travels a lot, you run into people in strange parts of the world. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's such a weird thing. You run into people in show business and, st- you know, having these holes in the wall. It's quite odd. I don't know. What are some of the places you're looking to check out outside of California? You want to go to Vegas. What yeah, you, Vegas. Wha- and uh, <laughs> I asked the bus driver, oh, do you think it's good to go to Tijuana? My friends told me that. And they went, no fucking way. No, they'd kill you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought, oh. They would kill Maybe you. Maybe my friends just <laughs> try to trick me into <laughs> no, you don't need to go there. You can go San Diego. It's beautiful. But Vegas is wild. What are you going to do in Vegas? Did you go see Dean Martin or one of those I don't know. I'd crooners? Do like I think Britney Spears. I want to see wrestling, like real wrestling. Like W D- Yeah. CF? Yeah, W. Like the Hulk Hogan wrestling? Yeah. Oh yeah. You want to see Hulk Hogan style wrestling? Yeah. <laughs> Like it's still popular. If you go on the internet, I wouldn't be surprised. You sh- maybe go see some Mexican wrestling. Yeah, that would be great. That would be cool. That was like one of my biggest influence because they look like kick ass in a cool way. Like action figures. Yeah, that's kind of the clothes I want. Do you want to make your people look like action figures? No, oh, by rock. Rock action figures. Yeah. Rock and roll superheroes. Yeah, that kind of. That's a cool. Who are some of your favorite performers? Like uh, like King Diamond, his show is very theatrical. There's yeah. a lot of things going on. You kiss and stuff like that. Do you like those kind of artists um, that do kind, kind of, of big theatrical? Yeah, but I like Gigi Allen performance. Like ah! yeah, raw punk rock yeah. or something big production. Yeah. A Tool concert. Yeah. I like watching shows. I haven't been to a show. There's Behemoth is coming up. There you go. Yeah, I think you have it backwards. <laughs> He's got the shirt backwards. Jesus Christ. Is it fucked? No. <laughs> no. It's ruined. Yeah, it looks cool. <laughs> yeah, you look like a, you look like a, a bicyclist from hell, a courier in New York. So you've just taken the scissors and, and made snippets and cut the neck and the arms out. And it's not the best. No, nah, it looks so cool. Though. Ta-da. Uh, <laughs> they look very rocky. Yeah, it looks cool. Anyway, we are here in Los Angeles, California. And uh, I don't know what the fuck to do. I got so much work to do, uh, and I got to figure it out. Doing this shit. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is work. Yeah. This is fun, though. Yeah, I'm glad funny. anybody who's listening and your patience that you've made it this far, you're dealing with two mumbling retards. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking you terrible. You should fucking make the big money, Jason. You're a genius. Uh, well, thanks for that. I'm, I'm working on it, yeah. but the Hollywood hasn't welcomed me with open arms for some reason. Yeah. It's quite entertaining for me, though. I I'm, will not leave. <laughs> <laughs> I will not leave. I will stay here out of spite. Yeah, but um, it's cool. It's cool. I like. I I really like um, 
I've been spoiled in Europe at what I've noticed. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've, bu- I've spent a long time building up a fan base yeah. and, and having people that come specifically for what I do yeah. as opposed to uh, an audience that sees pe- movie stars. Yeah. And then a monster shows up. Yeah. <laughs> jumps on the table. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Everybody should like. Yeah, that kind of behavior. Yeah. Uh, yeah, fuck it. It's a great show. I, they don't get physically <laughs> hurt. No. It's just... It's, I'm, I'm not doing anything illegal. It is silly, though. I, I Sometimes I know they, uh, they're they obviously completely cut off, and they're not having it. Like, we're, we're not going to be friends. No. So let's dump this right into the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Jump on the table. <laughs> start threatening them. But trying to do it smilingly. Yeah. Know? It is. It's fun. I like the... It's the way to live. You got to live. It's got to be exciting. I want to go yeah. see something that's exciting. I want to see... Yeah. So I want to be wowed. Yeah. And I, I, I don't know. Maybe I see that uh, there's not a lot of things that make me go wow anymore. What, what's something that you've got your eye on creatively that you... A film or, you know, artist or anything that you really look... Uh, all stumbled across. Because there's so much stuff on the internet. You just go and you look at some photographer, no name person, and like, yeah. this is amazing. Like, there's some amazing photographs here. Yeah. Or this girl's selling uh, jewelry, handmade jewelry. Yeah. And you're looking at it, it's like nothing I'd wear, but it's the attention to detail and doing it yourself kind of projects. Yeah. And great stuff. You don't have to go through Kmart to find your shit. No. You can fucking make it, right? Yeah. I was, I was, oh, fuck yeah. You're fucking baked. Yeah, I'm so fucking baked. But I don't it's know. Good, it's a good feel? time. I, I have some uh, lorazepam there if you'd like one. Okay. It's uh, it's mellow pill. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. There's that. <laughs> mellow pills. There's <laughs> Uncle Jason, Dr. Jason. <laughs> There's, uh, yeah, in that bottle right there. Take these drugs. Ta- you take this, then it's going to be great. Yeah, take <laughs> one. <laughs> You're fucking horrible. Take, take one because I worst. need the rest. The worst. No, I'm fucking helpful. Worst. I'm a enabler. <laughs> I took mine. Ab- I took mine about an hour ago. Yeah, I feel fine. I haven't cried once today. So you, uh, Tara's taking his first lorazepam. Yeah. And the thing he doesn't question me. This is the fucked up part. He doesn't go, "What's it gonna do?" Um, I tell him it's my anti-anxiety pill, which could mean a variety of things to somebody who's not prescribed it. <laughs> So, but you're gonna be fine. It just—it's like sitting in a hot tub as you spit snooze out of your mouth. He's he got these shit ball size snooses. <laughs> See, we need. Why do you do the old farmer snooze? I guess that's part, uh, uh, part where you're from. People in your hometown, they do the snooze like that, huh? Yeah. Just like that, not the bagged one. No. I can't stand it. I tried it. It burns your lip. It's disgusting. They have a, um, a friend of mine. He could put five snooses. He had a hole in his in his upper lip, like a pouch. Yeah, it burns through. What do you think of that? It's very really great. <laughs> <laughs> and then Tom, uh, King of Hell, he'll snooze and then he'll also uh, smoke cigarettes at the same time. But he does nothing like your balls of snooze. You got to keep in mind anybody who doesn't know what it is. It's like chew here in the U.S. Yeah. But but it's like this dog shit. It looks like dog shit. Yeah. And but you have like a, a, a gumball size yeah. that piece that you start it's falling out of your mouth. Yeah. How do you is that, that must get you so high so quickly? Yeah, I don't know. No, it's just uh, it's very just a part of <laughs> the day. It's like <laughs> coffee. <laughs> you drink it but it doesn't give you anything. It does help I think it does help people stop from smoking though. Yeah. I think that snooze is good. <laughs> it's not good. It's expensive. Do you a- drug? Do you take it when you're when you're working? Yeah, all the time. Tobacco is supposed to be good for creative yeah, shit. I don't know. How long is this show? <laughs> <laughs> Getting tired. I like to do. I like these shows to be like my stand up. Yeah. Just wobbly off the top and then right in the bucket. <laughs> yeah, per plum. Yeah, bro, bro. I am like, actually, I've just noticed. I looked at my Twitter feed. I'm, I'm losing followers. I have hardly <laughs> as it is. Uh, I haven't. I think it's really sad. Yeah. And I'm really getting tired of it. It's, it's all dudes. Now I'm looking at some of the stats on some of my social media and, and it shows percentages and 
Yeah. What have you? What countries? So and so, and they don't do like gender. It's like ninety-seven percent males, eighteen to thirty-five, <laughs> and the women slice on the pie is like a just a cunt here, right up. <laughs> uh, uh, it's heartbreaking. <laughs> but I'm gonna. Uh, I've been lazy, and I'm, I'm gonna work on some material and make the girls laugh. Too. Yeah. I gotta get back to that. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of caca, poo poo, pee pee stuff. <laughs> But I like it. I like the yeah. ju- juvenile aspect of it. It's it's fun to see people freak out about nonsense. And uh, but I'm gonna do some jokes to balance it out a bit. I'm too cock and ball heavy in my uh, in my stand up. It's not fun. <sighs> I don't know. You've seen some of my worst shows. It, yeah, they yeah, are, they are the best. Why? Why is it? Because you're not the first person to bring this up. But why do you think my bad shows are your favorites? Because I know you, you were friends. You're not laughing because you hate me. No. But you, you, I think, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. And correct me if I'm wrong. You just, you get it. Yeah, I get it. It's, uh, and when people don't get it, it's, it's the best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a what? mean son of a bitch. Like, you know, I'm not mean. No, but in a good way. Just, yeah, I say terrible things. <laughs> yeah. uh, but uh, I think I'm never really aggressive with them. No. Yeah, I don't lose my cool, you know. I'm not. I'm not a, like fucking. If you much. think about, it, you're just yourself on stage. Yeah, anybody who knows. I just turned the volume a little bit, yeah. but it's just fun to uh, to fuck around a little bit. Yeah, people get fucking worked up. Yeah. But I'm gonna uh, branch out, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, but I always have some horrible stuff in my back pocket <laughs> every night. Yeah. So don't fuck around. <laughs> I like when people get, look at a few drinks and they'll get some confidence. Yeah. Because they're angry through the whole show, <laughs> but they're getting drunk at the same time. Yeah. And they're like, I'm going to be a hero. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Fuck you. And then I'm like, ba boom. Ba boom. It's like walking dead in there. Me just shooting a, a zombie in the eye with a crossbow. <laughs> oh. Which I don't encourage. I really don't need people yelling at, at anybody's show I, as a performer. No one, everyone thinks uh, they're fucking helping or they're, and if you don't like it, just leave. Yeah. It's as simple as that. Yeah, what do you think about people that go to see um, shows and are upset with the performers as people off stage? you know? You've seen them, pe- people yell and scream at uh, uh, somebody at a show? Yeah. Well, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I lost you. After that. I knew it. I knew it. I was like, he ain't following shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's, uh, what, do, what do we got to mention? What's left outside of this nonsense? I haven't said one. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Good Nothing. Name. I got to send people uh, emails, a transcribe of your conversation so they know what the fuck is going on. They're going to go, they're going to think you're retarded in Swedish. <laughs> Yeah, his English has gotten worse, <laughs> but uh, it'll get better. It's just practice. Yeah, it's... I find people that if they're here like three or four days, you get a, you just pick it up. Uh, but it's hard. <laughs> you know, I tried to learn Swedish in in Sweden, and I, I got my at my best. I had fifteen words. <laughs> Only bad. Only bad words. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me see what we got. Hoshefton, <laughs> Fita, Skruten, Plut, Come see, come see. Okay. Nay, nay, uh, nay. nay. <laughs> puss, puss. <laughs> puss. Um, uh, uh, salute, salute, huh? Salute, huh? Yeah. Salute, huh? Um, uh, oh, I'm going to miss that. I forgot that you're not going to be like Swedish Swedish comedy anymore. Also, I'll do Swedish. Uh, yeah, no, no, but... I, the, I was going to learn it in Swedish. Yeah, but... I still might. But I just, well, here in... If you do... Uh, oh, they don't know. No, I, I when I talk. <laughs> yeah, I talk about Sweden <laughs> to American audiences, and they look at me like I'm lying, like it's not a place, because uh, they, they just never have aspirations to, to go there. I think for the most part, I'm glad though. It keeps all the riffraff out for the most part. You know, it's it's a, it's, a, it's a an effort to go to Sweden. You're using your new shoes. As a, a mic stand. There you go. What are you, what are you, you're slipping into your 1980s now? Huh? You, you're just melting. You look at blah, 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 blah. <laughs> ah, what would my guy do? I've been 
try to speak in this fucking microphone all <laughs> this this program uh, this is like the first time I can do it probably because now I don't have to <laughs> think about the fucking microphone. That's better. <laughs> what would what guy would do? <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Well, tonight yeah. is uh what day is it today? <laughs> day is it today? <laughs> uh, oh, I'm gonna be sick. What day is it today? <laughs> Uh, when? Tuesday today. <laughs> We're gonna go out. I'm not gonna have a late one tonight. I can't take it. Yeah. Well, no, I'm gonna smoke some weed, do some stand up, <sighs> bombs, have some fun. Yeah, it's going to be great. Are you gonna watch me scare some people tonight? <laughs> you and now there's nowhere to hide. Yeah. These rooms they can't hide, so I just jump down their throats yeah. and start pulling their guts out of their asshole, <laughs> and they can't clap. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to have a good one. We'll see. Uh, I got John Lovitz on Saturday. And then I'll be working on um, stuff in Scandinavia. I'll keep you posted. But uh, thanks for coming out to the show, Terror. Yeah, thank you for having me. <laughs> Maybe we'll have you back tomorrow. But uh, in the meantime, this is Jason Rouse. Good night. And Terror. <laughs> Don't kiss me on the mouth. Don't ask if you're hurting me. And if you hear the safe word, stop what you're doing immediately. Do you have pantyhose?